What's up, people? Tony here, and welcome back to another episode of TT Burger Game Reviews. And today we are we have a another multi-part review here. I've been making a lot of levels again lately, and and this is episode 134, part one of two. And I know I've been doing a lot of multi-part reviews here and stuff, and st and I know it's been, been two parts and stuff. I mean. But still, like you can't, I can't really help it if a lot of these these franchise franchises here and stuff have have only have two parts and stuff. But those of you who saw my uh, my my last review know that I took a look at a couple Spider-Man games on the PlayStation, and I recommended them because they were both fun games and definitely were worth picking up and stuff for sure. But today we're going to be continuing this Marvel Madness here by reviewing some games based on the X-Men franchise, and I've 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 known known about X-Men around the same time I known about Spider-Man and. I pretty much much got into them just as just as much as Spider-Man, and X-Men probably became my second favorite Marvel franchise and stuff. Definitely, I I remember having the toys and watching the cartoon X-Men animated series and X-Men Evolution. Both were were, were 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 equally awesome. I mean, I know X-Men Evolution had, had like kind of a darker twist to like um like, like the original series start that and introduced characters like Shadowcat and such and. It was definitely, definitely fun. They were both awesome, man. I remember more about X Men Evolution because I was older when that came out. I was about 12 years old, so I had better memories about that show. But I'm kind of, kind of drawn on here, so let's just get, get back on track here. There was also the movies and stuff too, which of course that everyone knows about those. But I, I'm drawing on here. But um, for this episode, we're gonna be taking a look at two X Men games, and they were both released on the PlayStation here. And it'll be covered in two parts, like I said. Part one, we're gonna look at X Men Mutant Academy. Part two, X Men Mutant Academy two, where we kind of, but we got a lot to talk about here. So let's get started with talking about the first X Men Mutant Academy, released on the PlayStation and Game Boy Color, and it's going to be an N64 version as well, but it got canceled. It was released on July 11th, year 2000, by Paradox Development and Activision. Now, what is exactly X Men Mutant Academy? Simple, it's a fighting game with X Men characters in it, and a good one at that. You basically got got you got classic key characters, and you just just pick one of them and just. Fight, fight the other opponent, like it's in, in other fighting games, definitely. It's good, with not, but not without its flaws, but we'll talk talk about that as uh, time goes on later in the review. For story, there is no story, it's just that you pick you pick an X-Men mutant and you just fight an opponent and there you go, that's basically what the story is, there's pretty much no story, even though it has like a little description of the rise of the X-Men in the instruction manual, but for the most part there's no story aside from like the opening cutscene and the ending cutscene and stuff, so that's what I'm just saying there. You have 10 characters to choose from, like like favorites like Cyclops, Wolverine, Phoenix, Beastman, Toad, and stuff like that, and such, and more and more. I should beat them, I have to say sorry. But for this, I'm going to be playing as Phoenix, aka Jean Grey, because she's my favorite character in this game, and one of my, my favorite characters in the X Men franchise. I know people are probably would expect me to play as Wolverine or Cyclops, but the truth is, I'm not a big fan of them. I think Wolverine and Cyclops are very overrated, especially with how many, you see how many movies about Wolverine there are out there. Yeah, like, I think at this point, Wolverine was a favorite, but to me, he was overrated a little bit, so that's just me, though. But then, let's keep, we get started here, like, in back on track here. The game's graphics are pretty good. I mean, they're not the best graphics ever for a fighting game and stuff, but still, like, um, they're pretty, pretty good, good graphics. You like, them. Um, the character models look great, and the, an the animate made decently, although they can move kind of sluggishly and stuff, like, when you're wearing your and stuff, like, they move, and they move, like, the kind of stiff looking, but still, they, they animate. Decently, f for the most part, and um, the cutscenes look nice, and, the, and they, they take advantage of the PlayStation's hardware, and they're definitely, definitely, lately worth it. And such, and definitely, and the background's also very colorful with good, great lighting, and graphics are good. I mean, character models could look better and stuff, but yeah, and I should mention that that the frame rate does kind of, kind of, kind of slug a little, slug around a little bit at times too, like when the action gets hot, which is kind of a bad thing when it comes to a fighting game, but it's not the worst frame rate ever. Is what I'm trying to say. So. Graphics, for the most part, are good, decent, no, decent, good, whatever you want to call it, so yeah. For sound, really isn't much else to say, aside from like the music and the voice setting. The voice setting is, is good, I mean like, just some characters' voices sound a little too high and stuff, but um, I really don't have, have, have much of a problem with, with the voice setting there, especially like, like a Phoenix, like Phoenix aka like Jean Grey's voice, that voice actress, she does a great job, and um, the music is awesome, and like it fits the X-Men men feel to it and stuff, and Great, great music, definitely, and also like the sound effects when you punch or kick, kick an opponent sound great, and when, and when and the grunts and stuff also sound great too. So, overall, good sound, good sound. But now we gotta get into the gameplay here, and gameplay is good, not without its flaws. Like I mentioned before, it's it's a fighting game with X Men characters, and and you and it's basically that you basically, you basically like can use your your your, your X Men powers or do throws or punch and kicks and stuff like that to, and to beat the opponent and stuff. And you and like I said, there 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 are ten characters, and I'm I'm playing as Phoenix, aka Jean Grey, because she's my favorite in this game. 
and like um yeah I'm just been staying there. The controls are, are very smooth, like um like a punching and kicking is 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 fluid and like triangle and single square punch and X and circle kick stuff and you can do, do, do throws too by pressing X and square or pressing any direction on the defense to do to change the throw and stuff. And you have special moves too, which I couldn't figure out because the manual that doesn't doesn't really explain much and like it doesn't explain how to do the special moves. I was able to do one of the special moves, but like I didn't really tell you what what to do in them and stuff. But that's just me though. But like I mean, it's it's good too. And then like when, once you win, you you get you get the ending cutscene stuff, and then you can you can go back and replay it and stuff. But the main problem here is that there's not much replay value to it because like once you unlock everything. You pretty much much see everything there is. Like you can unlock textures and the any cutscenes. You can even unlock a trailer for the X Men movie that came out the same year in the year 2000. And like it's it's got it's got a handful of goodies to unlock and stuff. But still, to replay it over and over just to unlock these pictures and stuff like that, and like 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 certain videos stuff like that and comic book pictures stuff. I mean, if you have to be an, be an, an avid bit collector who has to collect them all, then yeah, I, I say the replay value is good. But for me, like it's just. Once you've seen it all, you've seen it all, and, it's, and the replay value is not going to be very high and stuff like that. For some reason, the replay value is not very high, but just, yeah, that's just basically what it is there. And like um, it does, like I said, it does have a handful full of goodies and stuff. Definitely it has just a handful full, full full of goodies to unlock, but still like, it just more could have been done with this game and stuff. Like there could have been, been a story, or like 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 there could have been like um, some some more characters to unlock and stuff. But once you've seen it all, you've seen it all, and like um, it's not a bad game. It's just that it just kind of lacks the replay value and stuff. And aside from that, there really isn't much else to say here. I mean, X Men Mutant Academy is a good fighting game, and with, not with without flaws of that, it's definitely worth owning your collection of fighting games and X Men games. What my final verdict here goes like this: Like I said, it's a it's a, it's a good game. Could be better, but still good, definitely. Due to the complaints I have with this game, the score I'll be giving this is probably a 7.5 out of 10. I mean, it's a good fighting game. Just more could have been done with this. What I'm trying to say. Still, definitely worth owning your collection of, of fighting games and X Men games, definitely. And that's it for episode 134, part 1 or 2. We're not done yet though, people. So, so just letting you know, because in episode 134, part 2 or 2, we're going to look at the sequel, X-Men Mutant Academy 2. How does this game fare from its predecessor? Does it does it improve, or is it worse? Well, you got to find out in the, next, in the next part. And especially like all I got to say there, you know what to, what, to, what to do. You like what you see here, subscribe, like the video, comment down below, and join my Discord group. TT Burger Games Night, the link is in the description, so definitely click on it to join, because I'm always looking for more people to join, and it's always fun talking to my subscribers and fans and stuff. That's pretty much all I gotta say, this is Tony, peace and out, have a great day, and see you all in the next part.